In this video, we're going to show you the new consolidated library in Libridge Concrete. As you may know from previous versions, we used to have a specific library depending on the type of element in Libridge Concrete. A rebar library, a truck or vehicle library, a footing configuration, and so on and so forth. So, different libraries depending on the substructure super, uh, substructure model that you were using. Now we have just one library stored by default in this path and this default library is the one that contains all the previous definitions that I showed you. So how to create or merge all that information into this library? As you know, you will have these tools, component libraries and that's when you bring all the different elements for example here i have a cross-section library i have a pre-stressing tendon library a tendon library i don't have i have a vehicle library for the ash to coat that's all my trucks are and then for the substructure i have also a library and on combination groups library as well I have footing configuration so all these libraries now as I select them one by one patterns uh, do I have bounded bars no I don't pile sections yes I have pile sections so all these different libraries now are going to be merged into the default one and I'm done so now I don't need to pick any specific library, you know, Libridge Concrete will use now all these components into one library, as I showed you before, consolidated right here. Now, moreover, if you already have this library and you have defined more elements, then you can just always go to merge into a consolidated library and add more information to a previous library that you already merged. So now it makes easier that file management and library management um, in Libridge Concrete. Thank you.